thank you very much uh, for inviting me here. And the last uh, event that was mentioned here was volunteering. And the person who landed me up here, I met them through volunteering. <laughs> last time, do you remember you volunteered with a walk we had? So uh, she contacted me recently, and it, it was a great idea to present here today until last night. <laughs> this morning was a terrible idea. <laughs> and the more I heard today, the worse the idea was. But in fairness, I, I must uh, say it, it is well worth, even at my age, getting up out of bed in the afternoon coming in here. Um, from the very start, the energy, the enthusiasm, it was, it's just infectious. I could go on, I needn't talk about, I don't need these slides at all. <laughs> I could go, you can all go home, you're all motivated. <laughs> but it is the enthusiasm. Right from the start, since you started, Lou, and each of you went through your own. I don't want to go through each and, and every one individually. It's the enthusiasm. Ireland is awake and ready for business. <laughs> you know, that's the message that goes away from here. And it's in your hands. And we're looking to people like you around. And we need more people like you, not the whingers and the moaners. And it can do people, OK? Right. There was a... I was teaching in a school, it's just up the road there, up Children's Road, uh, Galvone National School, which was a boys' school first, and then we had a marriage of convenience, we were put in with the ladies' school. And um, there was a great woman in the staff when we amalgamated. And one day I was walking down the yard, I said, oh, mother of God, look who's coming. Happiness. And she says, Kevin, if you show that person the donut, they'll only see the hole. <laughs> <laughs> and it was the best lesson you could go to all the in service and God knows what. And I learn more from that. And that's the point about it. And that's where this whole motivation thing comes in. Uh, I hope I don't turn this off for something. You know, I'm winning. Right. But, you know, the whole uh, motivation around study and whatever, where does it come from? We have to look at a few things. And motivation is a fire from within. I think it was Kobe um, or somebody said that. But if it isn't a fire from inside you, nobody can get it going. Now, there's a guy, Sean Ruth, he has a book on, and uh, it's about leadership or whatever. And he's divided people into three categories. Up at the top are the people who can't wait for Monday morning. They really work to live in the lift to work. They really enjoy what they're doing. They're full of energy and enthusiasm. In the middle category, you have the people who work really hard. They're happy to work. But they work. But they also kind of, they'll do all, you know, it isn't their priority. They'll work. They won't whinge about it. Look, it does what, and it gives me, I can... Whether it's bungee jumping, I want to go, or whether it's to the local pub, I want to spend my money. It gives them their fix. And then there's the third group, they're the crowd that are, the, you know, there's always something wrong. And you'll know, you'll know these people. How, how are you? I don't be asked. If you only know And at work, I carry that face on my back, and no one appreciates what I do. And, oh, good God, you know, they couldn't make sour and they wouldn't even have to look at it. <laughs> but, you know, and what do you do with those people? He said, keep away from them. There's another guy, John Westbourne, and I said, once an old teacher, always an old teacher. And he had a grid, and it was like this. And he divided it, it's like God. All God was divided into four parts. Nobody here ever did Latin, no. Right, I'm showing my age again. It's my classical studies from the Christian Brothers, okay. Down here, there were what he called the slopes. Oh, yeah, this was at the experience line, okay? And this was the willingness line, okay? Okay, over here, he had the sleeping bears. <laughs> they had the experience, they had the willingness. These were the slopes. They had neither. They were just dead weight, okay? Absolute dead wood, you see? Up here, you had the puppies. <laughs> These were the crowd who had the willingness, but they hadn't the experience. And over here, you're the dolphins. <laughs> okay, these had the experience and the willingness. So right, the big job was to try and get as many as you could up there. So how did you do it? You got the dolphins working, and you tried to get the, let them work with these. You have the willingness, and you have the experience. Get the ease, will come over here. What you do with these, when something good has happened, hold on a minute. We have to be part of this. We are not going to be left behind. You know, you will kind of eventually move the big rock. It's like Jimmy Pacific is pushing the rock up the hill. You'll eventually move them. Well, what do you do with these? And somebody said, F them. <laughs> Excuse me not. <laughs> or get them. <laughs> yeah, excuse me. <laughs> okay, went to the Christian Brothers from the day I was that height till the day, God knows what. 
Okay, right. Okay, then you need to know the psychological state of the person. Which category are they in? You know, have, have they, they can do it. Do they see the donut or do they see the hole? You know, if somebody wants, I want to do my master's, because everybody else is doing it. Yeah? Then, the nature of the study undertaken, what will I do? Somebody give me an idea. <laughs> you know, but like everyone has their pro proposal in and I haven't. And I'm going to be left behind. You know what I'm going to end up. And I'll drive it myself mad, I'll drive everyone at home mad, and I'll drive everybody in the course mad. Okay? And I won't meet deadlines. The attitudes of the individual then, you know, as I said, can they do it or can't they do it? How will they respond to challenge? When the goal gets tough, will they get going? Will they see the challenge or will they see, see the challenge as an opportunity to grow or will they see it as a chance to sink and bring half the world down with them? So those are some of the things that, you know, when we're looking at somebody, take some of the Brazilians that came over. It was by the wheelbarrow load you gave us them first. Then you gave them by the dumper load and then it was by the truck load. You know, they were, they were highly motivated, you said, and there was no complaining about it. You know, and you have had a whole lot of other people as well. I even had Vera this morning teaching me Portuguese. She wasn't going to let me away without it. Okay. <laughs> and I learned Obrigado. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm well on my way to Brazil for the World Cup. <laughs> Highly motivated with those two words. <laughs> Aaron to the team. Right, okay. Right. Then, what, you know, I, I use this. I'm speaking to reflect the practice. You're saying, well, at your age, all you can do is reflect. You saw much behind you. But anyway, um, if someone said, your, what's it, your future's on behind you. But anyway, that, that's tale. But anyway, what is this about? The situation analysis. Where are we? What are we doing? And this can be used for business. It can be used for study. It can be used for your own daily life. Situation analysis. What's my action plan? What's my reason for the action plan? Why am I doing it? Am I doing it because everybody else is doing it? Because am I doing it because it's going to get me? I'm here. Where do I want to go? And how am I going to get there? And those are the questions. I taught children from third class to sixth class. I also work with people in second level. I work with people in third level. And for my sins, I ended up working with, uh, with a crowd called Leadership Developer for School, inducting principals at primary and secondary level and the CPD for for principals. And the principals fell into those categories. Some of them, just five jobs you couldn't do with others, yes, they couldn't do it without breaking a sweat. Now, that's my experience. But like, and I would say to people, whether it's something where you're working, this is it. Then you evaluate, am I really going where I want to go? How is my action plan working? This is your, your, your uh, second, your um, critical analysis there. You look back at the reflection on your evaluation. Then your critical reflection, how is it working, how isn't it working? And then you might have a reviewed situation analysis. And it isn't that it's a problem. You might say, listen, hold on a minute. I was going east and I should have been going west. I was going west and I should have been going southwest. You know what I mean? It could be, a, it might be the, it might be the challenge you thought at all initially. So then, and that's just cyclical. You could just go on with that the whole time. What are you going to do with yourself? What are, you, what are you going to do with the study? And it's very, very important. Oh, yes, what we need to look at as well in it is that um, what are we on about in the study? Are we doing it for job enlargement, job enrichment, or what? <coughs> what kind of motivation is, it, is in it? Is it intrinsic or extrinsic? I won't go into the name of the two of you because you know the extrinsic, it might be money, and you know, if you want to uh, get. A thousand euro of a raise per week, well, after six months, that thousand euro is gone into. You know, money is a short term. One. Was the buzz, is the fire from inside? Or where does that come from? So that's what you need to ask yourself about the study you're doing. Of what, what is a job enrichment, job enlargement, job extension, or what? I was involved in a program at one stage, and it involved um, for aspiring principals. Why would you like to be a principal? Some were tied up in. They wanted people to look up to them. They wanted people to obey them. They wanted people to respect them. They wanted people. They saw this as a position power. Others were tied up with three things: people, planet. Uh, sorry, people, place, and planet. 
They want us to work with people. They want to make life better for everybody around. It isn't that they want to go around, oh, you're great, especially when we've never seen It wasn't that kind of mushy or stuff. But they just wanted to make a difference in people's lives and they wanted to give it a bit of more. The place, if, they wanted, you know, the environment where people would work, just be welcoming and happy. And the one thing I always said, if, if, if work isn't as good, well, if work isn't a happy place, you shouldn't be there at all. Get out the page and start to whom it may concern, <laughs> which to apply for a job between here, some island between here and Brazil. Okay, right. Um, and I get there by Corrup every day. But anyway, the next thing then is, um, uh, oh yeah, what is the motivation behind it? Some people are in it for profit. Well, profit kills you eventually. I would recommend, it's a kind of hard, I found it hard to get into, but Screw Business as Usual by um, Richard Branson. I had nothing over the book. I'm not pushing it around because on a serious note, it kind of gets your head into that. Those who work for the betterment, uh, as I said, the three P's, people, place, and planet, and the good of the planet, they're happier about people in themselves. Profit kind of, you, it doesn't always work. Uh, it helps a bit now, don't be kind of working for nothing, you know? Okay, now, so those, I, I always do whatever you call it, and then I start scribbling over it myself, right? <laughs> Which is a sure sign of, 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 of a brand book. Now, what energizes you? Or what, those are the main things with motivation. We have them there. I'm, I'm going ahead of myself. <laughs> right, technology, and, and we're getting there. Readjust your focus. Yes, we have this. Right, we often lose track of what we're doing. I have that covered. You know, am I going where I want to go? And sometimes maybe I need to go somewhere else. I became a principal when they could get nobody else. I was at school one morning, and we had the principal or a deputy, and I came home with the keys, and they stuck in my head, and they were there until the day I retired. It wasn't that it was any good. I think that they, I said, I'll do it for a month, advertise it again. I think they drove me, I don't know. Maybe they bought me a drink to have like me in that way, you know? But, you know, and it was the best thing that ever happened to me, because, you know, I suppose it, 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 it drove me more crazy than I was. <laughs> right, no, but sometimes we do need to refocus. And you know, it's not always, you know, some people say, Did you always want to be a teacher? I no more need, had a notion of being a teacher than a doubt had of becoming an, an, an astronaut. Well, don't have become an astronaut. <laughs> 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 I didn't have a notion. But I remember someone saying, Did you always want to be a teacher? I said, No, I ended up there by accident. Said, How did that happen? I said, Well, the first year I did the leave, I got over the line with my mother's prayers. The second year, I did that because I couldn't get a job. I was waiting to get into the Merchant Navy, which I never found out about three years after I got, but they never they found the letter at all. I had gone back to school, and what made you go, what career guidance had you? Well, I said, one day, I hadn't the maths done, and we were told to come out whoever was signing on for primary teacher, so that was my career guidance. <laughs> now, I shouldn't say that, I should have said, well, well, look, I was very happy there, and I enjoyed it. And now you're not to be telling my sons that you went to school and God knows what. <laughs> and you're probably saying the last time you heard me talking, I was drunk at a wedding. So. <laughs> well, I'm not drunk this morning unless there's a hangover, okay? Right, identify the environment with the activities that unlock your energy and potential. What? Un you see it? I don't know, because the key is gone. Unlock your potential. That's what it's about. And you're only passing here once, so for God's sake, make the best of it. You know, you, you know what you want. You don't need me you know, writing it out for you, okay? And if you want to know how to get on, I'm going to write a book. Don't do what I did. I made all the mistakes. <laughs> Hux mistakes. That'll be my next publication, okay? Then, that's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Technology will be my next one. About all three covered there I have. I was going a bit faster. Readjust. And we did, and we did. Oh, yes. Identify and do a that's it, we're grand and we're nearly there. Now, the thing about it is, there's no point, if you want to, you need to, because you know, the old Chinese or Japanese, they have sayings for everything. Uh, and uh, you know, if you don't know where you're going anywhere, we'll get you there. And if you don't know, where, if you haven't got some sort of a map, you know, if you don't know where you're hitting out for, you'll end up somewhere else. So that's what this whole thing is about. Like, I honestly believe the fire from within, you know, there'll be days you'll have to sit back and say to them, about, what am I doing? And that's when you go back and you look at the old grid there and you say, listen, I'm from here to here, and I don't know whether Armstrong and those got to the moon or not. I was back in West Clare, I was about 16 at the time, 15 at the time, 1969, because yeah, I was 15, yeah. I'm 60 now, anyway, so whatever the match is. 
And we were looking up at the moon in the night back in, back, back, back in the old days, by Terry O'Hall, and we were saying, if they're up there, God help us, you know? And, uh, but anyway, we are told that that shuttle was 10% of the time on, on, on track. It was going like that. You know, we do to draw a line from here to wherever it should have been. So our lives were very much up and like that. So if any of you know where you're going, good luck and the rest of you up on the journey. Okay, thanks for sharing. <laughs>